Hello quilters! Today we are going to be making the pinwheel variation and if you are following the colorway on the pattern the star in this is white or the pinwheel in this is white and then the surrounding squares are a dark pink. You will need to download the templates however cutting instructions are going to be a whole lot easier this week for this you are going to cut eight squares of the pink two and a half inch squares and then for the center square you're going to cut one two and a half inch square of white and then for the pcs that are the part of the pinwheel you're going to cut those at two and a half by one and a half and then basically on these you will use your templates to make one cut on the pink and one cut on the white. So here I have my pieces cut and I'm gonna use four of these. One, two, three, four. And then this piece I'm not gonna cut and then these four pieces I'll cut. So let's... And make sure before you start using your templates, you measure square A on this paper and make sure it is two and a half inches square. If it is not, adjust your printer. It may be scaling or enlarging. I don't know um, on your printer how that will work. Okay. And it may be on this also that you don't cut by the templates, but maybe use a friction pen or a pencil or something and draw a line from the template. That may get you better results. Okay, I am going to make sure that I cut that corner and that corner to make it match because those tend to allow me to line up my seam allowance when I, the time comes and then make sure I cut it on that. Okay. Now, here we have piece B and basically all I'm going to do is shh, and then probably nick that off. If, if uh, you so choose, you could take a friction pin and draw your line using the template and then come back with the ruler and cut that okay so that's how you do that one and then you will do four of those and then four of these and this is just a nine patch so this is nothing hard don't make it harder than it needs to be and embrace challenge and quilting because let me tell you it, it will make you grow as a quilter if you try something that you don't think you can do. All right, so then I'm going to do four of these. Okay, the next step, we're done with the templates. So now I will take my four pieces and I'm going to line them up how they're going to get sewn. Make sure that before you start cutting any of your pieces that you pre-start your fabric because we are sewing on the bias and it may stretch. And by adding that little uh, tidbit, it will allow this not to stretch. Okay, when you align these up, there's a center tip right here. You want to line that up with the edge here and then the middle point here, you want to line up with this edge and then sew. And you're going to do that four times. Okay, so when I press this open, I'm just going to go ahead and press to the light side this time. However, you can press to the dark side. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and press to the dark side. And then after you get done pressing these, you will go ahead and trim them up to two and a half inch squares. Let's see how off I am. 
And I am not going to take the white off. I'm going to take the pink off. And it's just a sliver. So maybe my, um, my scant quarter inch seam is not correct. But I'd rather have too much seam than not enough. Or too much um, fabric left and, than not enough. Okay, that one's almost right. Oops. All right, and then we'll lay these out. So my center block is gonna be the white. And I have my nine patch, and now I'm just going to sew my rows. I'm going to press these seams out on these two rows and then this seam in. And the reason why I'm doing it is because there's no bulk seams on these pieces. So I'm going to utilize that and press towards those, and then I will spin my seams. go give this a good pressing okay for grins I'm going to see if my Trirex ruler will actually cut this angle ah. so for those of you who do not want to use the templates you can certainly use the Trirex ruler and um, I don't know where my other ruler is but you would use the triangle one or would you yeah you would use the triangle one cut this side so you would come like so you may still need to use the templates but for PC you can use your Trirex ruler and line it up on the two and a half inch line and it works perfectly so here's the block I'm glad I pressed my white towards the dark because it would have really bulked up these seams um, and I did spin my seams. Let's see if I actually have a six and a half inch block. This is going to keep me honest. I have a fraction of it missing here, but a sliver there. Let me trim that sliver. And this is good to go. Uh, this was a nice, easy sew today. Thanks for watching.